Um, this is where I was thinking we could do our base. Because look, man, all you'd have to do is block the front. And you'd only have to worry about one side of attack, you know, from the hunters coming at you. Well, welcome everybody to a new series playing subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming and uh, yeah, we're going to start this new series. I've, uh, I'm very new to this game. I have played it for a few hours now uh, with Captain Beard on uh, our multiplayer server that we started up. Uh, and I do plan on continuing to play uh, with uh, Captain and, and, um, and Stevie and anyone else who wants to join uh, for live streaming. I was thinking about maybe also, you know, playing on that server for like a let's play series but i decided it'd be better for me to just do a single player game for that so that way everything stays consistent so yeah um i've i've watched uh, uh some youtube youtubers play this like i said i've got maybe three hours into it myself uh, but i am pretty new to the game i i have the basic idea now and so yeah we're gonna jump in and give this a try and and have some fun with it so uh, if you guys are not uh, familiar with this game it's very uh, it's very realistic type of survival and it is very hard to, uh, but not, you know, not in a bad way, though, in a good way. Uh, you really, you have to stay on your toes and that sort of thing. Uh, but it is a sandbox game, so there's no storyline, there's no questing, nothing like that. Um, your enemies are really the environment, um, you know, thirst and hunger, animals, and then also NPCs called hunters. Um, and so, you know, you have your hands full basically trying to manage all of that. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and set up a profile here. So we're going to play on normal difficulty. We are definitely going to use hunters, um, and we're going to keep them on a uh, normal setting, which means they will periodically attack us, and they uh, will re get revenge if we attack them. Uh, we want to start in uh, March uh, for the year because um, winter is itself an enemy. And, uh, you know, for starting out, I don't want to start out in the wintertime. So we'll start out in March. And days per year, this is um, in-game days. Uh, I think I'm going to bump this up to, for a single-player game, um, I don't know, maybe we'll go, if we go 90 days per year, then that means we're going to have 15 days per each season, right? Uh, no, that would be 60. So, yeah, let's try that. We'll, we'll, we'll have 15 in-game days per each season. And we'll just see how that works, okay? And so those are our settings. Let's go ahead and start a new game here. So, you know, from what I've been able to see and, um, you know, what I've experienced so far with the game, you, uh, it's just constant, you know, constant gathering resources and, you know, being on your toes and stuff. And uh, it's a challenge. It really is. But um, it's... Uh, I, I think I'm going to enjoy it. I think I'm, I think I'm going to enjoy the challenge. So, okay. So in the single player game, they start us off uh, with uh, we actually have a pistol. We didn't get the pistol in the multiplayer game, which is interesting. And so, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to just start walking around and gathering uh, resources, avoiding animals, and I'm probably going to build uh, along the lake, um, at least for an, an initial base. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. There, I, I did in you know my kind of wandering around. I did find a spot that would be very defensible, but it's not re re near water, which would be the downside to it. So, uh, it could be so, uh, a thing where we could do it, you know, later on. So start, you know, do like a starter base. So oh, nice, we got some arrows already. Uh, do like a starter base, right? And then move uh, our permanent base uh, to this other place that I'm thinking about. Uh, so I don't know. We'll see how things go. Uh, one thing, though, we, we do need to we, need, we do need to come up with a base, and that base should be near water um, pretty quickly, even if that's not ultimately going to be our permanent base. I don't know how long this series will go, um, you know, because, again, there's no questing, there's no storyline, there's no goal. It's really sandboxing. So, you know, it could be a fairly short series or... We might be enjoying the hell out of it and play it for many, many episodes. We'll just have to kind of play that one by ear. That's okay, though, because, you know, it's it, it's kind of nice to do the sandbox thing and not and, and just, you know, not wor have to worry about questing or storylines. Um, you know, for a change of pace, basically. 
So we do want to stay away from the critters. Um, okay, so there's a chicken. Problem is we can't do anything about that really until we get a bow going. So we, that needs to be a high priority too. Uh, because the one thing I've noticed in the little bit of playing that I have done is that protein is by far the hardest thing to come by in the early game. And your your main choice uh, or your main options for that are chickens and rabbits um, until, you know, you can get a little bit better geared. So uh, what we're going to do is let's take a look and see what we need to make the bow. If we go here to uh, weapons... Uh, so we're going to need five sticks and six cordage. Okay, so we really need to start finding the cordage plants. The sticks will be easy peasy. Uh, we just, you know, keep making those from... Um... Do I have a fire starter? I don't. Okay, so one thing I want to do before we make the cordage is I want to make a fire starting kit. Uh, and to do that, we need to find some biofuel. And we're going to need, you know, the fibers for that, too. Well, you know what? Let's, um, yeah, we we actually, that's right. We need the fire first because we can't eat the meat until we get the fire. So that's actually got to be our number one priority. Okay, so let's head up here. We got to have another cordage plant. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this game, you know, keep in mind that I'm very new myself, but I'll let you know what I know about it as we go along, and we'll learn together, too, but... Uh, you do have to manage macronutrients in the game, so basically proteins, carbs, and hydration. Those are the three. So it's fairly simple, but it's still kind of cool, you know, that it's not just food and that's it, you know. So, yeah, you spend a lot of time just, you know, wandering around, avoiding the dangerous animals, and gathering resources and looting the chests that spawn uh, in throughout the world. There's no, like I said, there's no storyline, backstory, anything like that, so... You just have to assume, I guess, that the chests are, I mean, you know, one one person said they thought of them as, as airdrops, so I guess you could do it that way, or it's just, you know, stuff that was left behind or whatever. But the game is, you know, the focus of the game is, is simply to survive. And, you know, no storyline, none of that kind of stuff. You're just trying to survive in the environment that you're in. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, when I first s or, uh, discovered, I guess is the word, that the trees don't fall down in the game, I thought that was kind of jank, you know, I thought, well, that's not very realistic. But after I thought about it for a while, I actually like that. And the reason I like it is because, you know, the uh, what will happen is the wood in the trees will respawn um, after a, a period of time goes by and you can reharvest it. But what I like about it is, let's say you find this really nice area that you want to build your base in, and it's got a lot of cool trees around. Well, you don't ever have to worry about, you know, cutting the trees down and deforesting the place. So that's the the upside to it. I still think it's not very realistic, but, you know, whatever. What can you do? What can you do? Uh, this game is a, a single developer, too, by the way, so that's the other thing to keep in mind. And uh, it's pretty impressive for a one-man show. Uh, very impressive. The developer's name is Cold Games, and uh, he's been working on this for several years now. This game's, I, I don't remember when it came out. It was, you know, four or five years ago But now, by now. Good, we got some feathers, which means we can make some arrows. And we did loot an arrow too, but what we really need is we either need to get enough of the medical plants, four of them, in, to make the fire starter, or the biofuel, I should say, um, or we need to actually find it in a loot crate, which we can do. So that's we got to do that before anything else happens. So we're just going to keep wandering around. I want to be a little bit careful about not sprinting too much because, you know, that is... Okay, this is what we need right here. We need uh, two more of those because we have two now. Yeah. Um, we don't want to sprint too much because that's just going to consume more calories. And food is probably, I would say, maybe the almost the biggest challenge in the early game is getting enough food. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, okay, no, that's not the place that I thought it was. Now, there is um, somewhere on the map, I'm, you know, I haven't played enough or watched enough to, to know the map very well, but somewhere on the map there's a pond, and in that pond you can get kelp, and that'll... Oh, there we go. Good. Awesome. We found exactly what we needed for the fire starter. Okay, so to make that, um, we need two sticks. Okay, so let's make two sticks from the logs we have in our inventory. And then uh, we'll make the fire starter. Perfect. Okay, so we got that um, done, or it'll be done in a second. 
We're going to need to make the campfire itself, uh, which we can... We don't really need to do that until we find out, you know, where we're going to live. Uh, I think that's a boar. A boar is a, a neutral critter. He will not attack us if we don't attack him, essentially. Uh, here's some more fiber, so let's go grab that. Um, you don't want to be out at nighttime. Uh, not in the early game, anyways, because it gets really cold and you can't see. This game is super dark at night and you could run right into a wolf. And there's another medicinal plant and another fiber plant. You're looking for these fiber plants. There's a chicken over there. Uh, you're looking for these fiber plants because uh, that's what, how you make the cordage. Okay, so we can make four cordages now with the fiber that we have. So let's do that now because then we can start thinking about making a bow and start killing some chickens and rabbits. Okay. And um, if I press the M key, it shoots us way up on the map here. So it kind of looks to me like we might be way in the eastern part of the map. Yeah, that's probably in water. So I think we want to kind of work our way south, southwest-ish from uh, our current position. I love the way that map works. It's really cool. Okay, so for the bow, uh, we're going to need sticks and we're making some cordage now. Uh, so let's just make a whole bunch of sticks for the moment. Because we're going to keep cutting wood as we go along. And we need to find more cordage plants. Let's grab some more wood too. So yeah, this game is very grindy. Um, be aware of that. I'm not going to show every single second of every single moment um you know there will be some editing i'll probably show most of it in the early you know the early game the first episode or two just so okay that's a that's a chicken there you know just so you for those of you who are new you kind of get the flavor of it but um, I, there's going to be a lot of off-camera work for me uh, in this game too because you know after a while you can only watch so much of of the grinding, right? Um, but it does, you know, again, the, the essence of this game is, is in fact survival. So that's really um, what it's about and, you know, how you go about doing that and how successful you are at doing it and that sort of thing. Uh, it will get, definitely get more exciting. Uh, when is, oh, onions, nice, okay. Uh, when the hunters come in. So, you know, that'll 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 be a thing. <laughs> We're gonna have to defend against them and, and they're rat bastards, man. They definitely are. But they also, you know, have loot for us and stuff too. Okay, there's a chest. I think we can get to that without worrying about the bear as long as he doesn't come too close this way. There's also a moose over there. I guess the the moose are also neutral. Okay, this is a building crate, so it's gonna have nails in it. Which we're going to need for building. And some scrap metal too. Oh, I guess that had circuit boards instead of nails. Alright, that's fine. Uh, those are what? Blueberries? Yeah. And these resources, you know, that I'm getting right here. They they kind of seem like there's a bunch of them around. But not always. You know, sometimes it can be take a long time to find, find the resources. So. Alright. We got some gunpowder there. Some more blueberries that's good all right i want to keep an eye on that bear but uh, we want to make sure that we're going south southeast which is this way yeah so any of you guys who are watching the game um who are veterans and uh, you have tips and tricks for me feel free to share those in the comments of course i don't know really if there's any spoilers in this game since there's no story mode or anything but you know, if there is something that you might consider spoilers, just kind of keep that in mind because I don't like spoilers. Nobody does. Um, okay, so we need to make some more of these to make our bow. So we just need to have a total of six cordage. And so we should get that when that's done. You know what? Since we just saw a rabbit, didn't we? Somewhere over here. Yeah, I don't know. We also have some dangerous enemies nearby, too, so we should probably just keep moving this direction. Altitude also matters in the game. Higher you get, the colder you get, etc., etc. 
And right now we don't have any clothing on other than some pants. So, okay, there's a rabbit there. Okay, let's see if we can make a bow and kill that rabbit. Uh, well, we have one arrow and we're going to want to make another arrow. So uh, let's do that now because we did find that feather. You make uh, two arrows each time you craft them. So we'll have a total of three. You can recover your arrow if you miss the animal. If you hit it, you don't get the arrow back. That's just kind of the way it works. A little bit weird, but whatever. Okay, we're going to put the... Uh, I'm going to put the bow in the number one slot. We'll keep the pistol in the two slot. Uh, we have 11 rounds for that, by the way. Let's go ahead and eat this apple now. Uh, give us give ourselves some carbs. We have five blueberries, which is great. Uh, we'll, we're going to hang on to those for the moment. And what's that? Oh, onion seeds. Okay. Okay, now, let's see. that. Usually when the small critters um, detect you, they don't run very far away. So the rabbit's right there. Now what you want to do is just get the tip of the arrow just a little bit above the animal, and then you then that's basically where you aim. So there's no uh, reticule or anything like that. You just have to use the arrowhead. Okay, so this rabbit, <coughs> I think, yeah, this rabbit's actually still alive. And so what you can do is you can take him back and put him in a pen and then grow your own rabbits, which is something we will do eventually, but I'm nowhere near uh, at a point where I can do that yet. So we're just going to hopefully kill a few more rabbits and, and a few more chickens while we're moving towards where we're going to build our initial base and that'll you know that'll give us some proteins okay so um let's see we are heading south we're also gaining some altitude but i don't think we're hopefully we won't go so high that um you know we start having cold problems because if you get too cold you start losing health and in fact the very first time i died in this game well, on the multiplayer server, I should say, it was because of the cold. It killed me. So it's a thing. Definitely a thing. I want to be careful coming up over a rise like this, just in case there's something unfriendly waiting for us. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're back over by the fence again. Uh, the map is bordered by this fence. The fence doesn't mean anything in a, you know, in a story sense. It's just how the developer decided to set the boundary. Kind of reminds me a little bit though of um, of scum, you know, because you're you're stuck inside the fence and scum. Okay, so we got some some uh, uh, autumn-looking trees, even though it's March, which is a little odd, but okay, that's fine. And we have some water down here, which is good. I wonder. Yeah, we must be pretty close to the. northeast end of the map. Okay, there's a rabbit. There's also a bear right up over there that we have to be careful of, though, too. Now, the animals will, the, the predators, they will um, give you a warning if you're getting too close. Um, but the problem with that is that if, if it's storming out, you can't hear it because the storms are really loud. All right, let's see if we can find this rabbit. He just kind of ran up over this way. I didn't see where he went after that, though. But like I said, they don't usually run too far. So let's, we don't want to spend a million years looking for this thing, but let's give it a couple of moments anyways and see if we can spot him. A lot of times the, the little animals will go run right into a bear or a wolf and... Then you know, you don't want to pursue him at that point, of course. Yeah, he probably hit the fence and then buggered off either to the left or right, but who knows which way it was. Let's just come all the way up here and kind of sight down the fence line a little bit. The rabbits are a little bit better than the chickens for food. You know, they give you a little more food, but you want the chickens too because of arrow or for feather. Okay, there he is right there. Right by the damn bear, though. Okay. Oh, he's not that close to the bear. We're good. Pick him up. Okay, so this rabbit's dead. Um, but this one's still alive. Now we can kill this one, which we will, to eat him. But again, if we were looking for him for a, a pin, then we'd hang on to him. 
There's another fiber plant over here. What I want to do is... Yeah, we got to watch out for the wolf. Oh, here's another thing, too. For Again, for people that don't know. Uh, if an animal kills you, it levels the animal, which is crazy. <laughs> so if that level one wolf killed us now, he'd be level two and be, you know, that much stronger the next time we tried to take him on. So, yeah, that's a thing. This is kind of a cute little cove down in here. I'd kind of like to be not on the very edge of the map, though. So... Yeah, there's a cave there. I think that's an underwater cave. All right. Um, I would like... It is a good idea to be on a lake, though, or near a body of water for fishing later on, and you can get kelp, like I said, and there's also other resources in the water that's useful. Is that a chicken? No. Because I think we're down to one arrow now. Yeah, right. Because we've killed, successfully killed two animals, which means that we only have one arrow left. So we really need to get some feathers. There's a bear over that way. There's no way to tell the time other than just looking up in the sky and seeing where the sun is. So right now I'm guessing it's about, uh, let's see, where's west? Yeah, it's early afternoon right now. Okay. This uh, big gnarly looking tree up here is a, gives us five pieces of wood, but it also will give us a grub, which we can then use for, for fishing. So we're going to harvest this tree here. And um, there's a waterfall up there. That's kind of a neat, a neat view. Maybe what we'll, we'll do is go... Uh, oh, there's a chicken. There's a chicken. Let's see if we can get that chicken because then we can get some more feathers for arrows and a little more meat two rabbits and a chicken will is not bad for for day one we can manage it here shit i missed him okay hopefully we can recover our arrow though yeah it's right here okay we'll we'll, we'll pursue him again in a second i want to get this fiber and Let's finish this tree. So in the lower left-hand corner, you can it shows you what you're getting, and on the last chop, I'll get a grub. Yep, tree grub. Okay, cool. All right, so let's um, see if we can relocate our chicken buddy. He shouldn't have he shouldn't have gone too terribly far. I saw him run off this direction. It's kind of pretty through here with the brook and everything. The problem with the with the rear, the little brook though is it doesn't give us the resources that a deeper body of water will. Just kind of taking a few steps at a time and then pausing. Okay, there's there he is right there. Um, just right up over the... Oh, wait a minute. No, that's... I think that's a wolf. Yeah, that's a wolf. I was, I was going to say, that thing's got way too many hit points to be a chicken. Oh, shit. Okay, he's growling. As soon as you hear the growl, you run. Oh, yeah. See, there was a wolf really close to us. I didn't see him. Okay, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Not a safe situation to be in. We don't want to take... Okay, he, he de on us. We don't want to be taking him on right now. Oh, you know what? I think that might be... Well, I don't know if it's the same pond I was thinking about earlier, but it is a pond. That wouldn't be a bad place for us to set up our base, at least our initial base. The map isn't procedural. It's it's the same for, you know, all games, but it is, it's a pretty big map. So 
I would imagine this there's gonna be areas of it that you know m multiple ponds this isn't like the only pond on the whole map all right so what we're looking for specifically at the moment is is the kelp because we can actually eat that for for carps um, now you do have to be careful even in the water um, the animals can come into the water and kill you and they can swim under the water and kill you so you are not safe from the predators in the water not very realistic but it is what it is okay so you want to you know as you're swimming around the lake you want to be looking at the shoreline too and making sure there's no predators at the shore that could detect you the other things we can get under the water are pearls um, and sandstone which you need for making glass if I understand correctly however pearls and sandstone are not something we need anytime soon we don't want to take up an inventory space with those right now all we really care about right now is kelp And it looks like that's all we're going to get for now. I might have missed one or two, but can can be hard to see sometimes. <laughs> okay, so I think this is, I think we're going to set up our, our camp here right next to the water. And, uh, you know, we can, we can check the water daily for kelp. So that gives us a carb source. And, um, I mean, this is probably as good of a place as any, right? I just want to look up here real quick. Oh, this this is the place, guys, I, I was actually thinking about. I think. Let's go over into here. So, if we go kind of underneath this land bridge... There's an, and there, there's an actual cave back here. And make sure there's no critters around. We could, that blue flash that you see, that's me getting cold. Um, This is where I was thinking we could do our base. Because look, man, all you'd have to do is block the front. And you'd only have to worry about one side of attack, you know, from the hunters coming at you. <laughs> It's not that far away from the pond. It's kind of far away, but it's not that far away. So, you know what? If this is where we're going to stay, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. Okay, so that's more or less the edge right about here. So we could put our first foundation down um, here, I guess. Or we could hold it back further. Yeah, let's hold it back further. <coughs> okay, so... <clears throat> The question is, do I have enough nails to make the first foundation? Um, so we need, yes, we have enough nails. We need another cordage and five boards. Uh, so can we make five boards? Let's take a look at that. We should, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And let's make one more cordage, and that'll get us our first foundation. Then we're going to make our fire, um, which we should also be able to do. We already have our fire starter. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, um, you can see that we're completely out of protein down here, and we're kind of low on fruits and veggies. So let's just go ahead and eat the kelp right now and the blueberries. Um, I'm just going to eat all of them. And that gets our carbs way up, which is good. And then once we eat the the two rabbits, that's it's not going to get us all the way up, but it'll it'll definitely take the edge off, so to speak. Uh, let's go ahead and drink from our canteen right now, too, and get our hydration up, and then we'll go down to the pond and fill that back up after we get our uh, foundation built. Okay, so we're not doing too bad, you guys. Let's put these down here so they're uh, easily available. We are going to want to make a storage chest uh, after the fire. That'll be the next most important thing. So, yeah, we just have to wait for those things to finish up there um i'll tell you what while we're waiting let me go let's go get a few more pieces of wood it's gonna get like super dark here pretty quick i 
Okay, I saw a rabbit or a chicken off to the right. Could get one more, that would be really good. Oh, do we not have any more arrows? Yeah, we have another arrow. Once we get the fire going, that'll take care of the cold, of course. Can't quite see the critter. We missed shit. Because we were shooting up over a hill. Alright, can we retrieve our arrow? It would have landed right about in here, I'm thinking. Oh, that was unfortunate. I wonder if it shot all the way down to there. Yeah, it's shooting up a hill was not the best best decision, but you know, it is what it is. Um, let's see if we can spot that arrow cuz without it things are going to get a little more difficult. Yeah, I'm afraid I probably shot it right up over the edge of the ridge and way down there and there's no way I'm going to go look for it down there, not right now. Okay, well, we'll just have to make do. That was that was that's bad. <laughs> that's not good that that happened. But I mean, I guess you can catch these guys too. I'm not sure how. Do we just press E? I'm gonna run out of stamina here. He's just staying in front of me. He's gonna run me right into a freaking wolf. Oh, we got him. Did we get him? Yes, we did. Oh, man, that was lucky. That was so lucky because losing that arrow had more ramifications than just losing it. I mean, we had no way to make another one. That was super lucky that we that we caught that chicken. And we have more protein. So we're, we're still in pretty good shape, you guys, uh, believe it or not. Okay, we've got to get this fire going. But before we do that, I want to get the foundation down. Um, Okay, so let's grab this and craft it. We are losing some health, but once we get the fire going and get some protein in us, um, you know, we'll recover from that. Oh, by the way, over on the left-hand side, um, we have kind of like a, a to-do list of things. Um, so, yeah, we got that going. Um, okay, so let's grab the foundation here, and I want it to be lined up more or less with the entrance. It doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, but reasonably lined up uh, but I also want it <clears throat> to start it you know kind of more in the back problem is I can't see very well now um, okay well I think this is probably going to be re reasonably close so let's take it right to about here lower it down just a little bit there we go and then we'll jump up on top of it. We're going to put the fire right down here in the corner. Okay. And then we put the fire starter here and the wood inside and ignite the fire. All right. Finally, some warmth. Okay. Now we're going to kill the chicken and we're going to butcher the chicken. And that gives us two feathers to make arrows. We're going to butcher the rabbit and we're going to butcher that rabbit and put this food on the fire. Excellent. Okay, so now the food can burn. So what happens is the food like gets, it's rare, uh, then medium, then well done, and then burned or something like that. Um, and depending upon how much it's cooked will determine its nutrition. So right now this rabbit would give me plus eight protein if I ate it straight up. However, you know, because it's raw, Okay, now it's rare, so now it will give me plus 13 protein, but we want it we want it to um we want it to cook to the next level essentially. Cuz I think we'll get 18 protein from it. And you can see it changes, you know, it'll change shade the icon will. Okay, now it's plus 20 because it's it's cooked plus we get max health and stamina. So that's the point, I believe, at which we want to eat it. If we let it go any further than that, uh, this gives us plus 18. You know, then it'll start to burn and we'll get less nutrition from it. Okay, good. So that's really boosted us up on our protein. Uh, we needed that big time. 
Okay, good. We're making great progress here, you guys. We're making great progress. Okay, so I th the next thing we want to do um, is um, we want to... We need to make a chest. I think that's probably the next thing we want to do. Um, we do. We want to go get some water, but we're not in bad shape hydration-wise, so we're going to want want to wait till morning to do that. Uh, but a chest is kind of the next thing on the list, which means we're going to need three uh, cordages and nails. Nails is are is going to be the stopping point on that for us. Um, we're not going to be able to do anything until we get more nails. So uh, one thing we want to do though is we want to keep the fire stoked. Uh, because otherwise, if it goes out, then you have to make another fire starter. Uh, oh, I do have matches, though. Okay, that's good. We do actually have some matches. That's actually very good. Okay, so for now, we just have to keep this stuff in our inventory um, until we can make the chest. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and try and carefully harvest a few more trees but the problem is cold and again uh, dangerous animals but we got to keep our fire going too so okay let's get back to our fire because remember we don't have any clothing on other than a pair of trousers Okay, let's just put all that in there to keep that fire going. Uh, all right, so now I want to make some more arrows. And let's do that now. That should give us four more arrows. And we'll have to use that to catch our breakfast in the morning. All right, you guys, well, I think we're kind of at a point now where there's not really anything else I can safely do. Um, so I'm just going to wait out the night, stay warm by the fire, and then in the morning we will set out and do some more gathering and try and advance. But I think this is also a good place for us to wrap up the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of uh, Subsistence. Um, I'm looking forward to this game. It is, as you can see, very challenging but that's kind of the 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 point of the game. It's um, you know, it's the joy in the journey, you know, kind of game. And I, I'm very much a joy in the journey kind of person. So, uh, very much looking forward to this series. All right, guys, I'll see you in the morning and in the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.